Sulu, and I started up as a dark plumbist again. And, uh, and now I'm an e-mentor, and I'm mentoring about eight dots. My name's Nick, um, and I'm a trainee dot. My name's Ian, I'm currently training to be a dot. I've done some of the criteria, I've still got a few bits and pieces to complete, but hopefully I'll be an approved dot in the near future. Hey, my name's Sandra, I'm an information advice and guidance tutor for Barnsley Council, and I've just finished part one of the DOC scheme, so I'm now an approved DOC. I found out, first of all, through the eCommunications Foundation degree, and I saw on uh, some of the message boards there uh, people referring to a DOC scheme. Uh, in my normal day to day job, I came across it, and I thought, this type of team was uh, something I could have a look at. What made me join the job scheme was um, I was already sort of helping friends, family and neighbours um, with sort of IT problems that they came across. Uh, I work uh, as a help desk operator at Sheffield College. So uh, partly I'm, I'm helping people on a daily basis and I just felt that it would be really, really interesting to do more of that in, in the public domain. I, I, for the last couple of years, I wanted to do something in further education, and I've looked at university, I've looked at college courses, but they've always been uh, stringent with certain days, which didn't help uh, with my lifestyle. Uh, the thing with being a dot and doing the dot scheme is that I can do it when I want. I've got a passion for e-learning. I used to be a, a Learn Direct tutor, and... Um, I like IT, I like technology, and I also do like passing information on. When I learn something new, I like to show the people. I, I have an elderly neighbour who, uh, who didn't really follow the IT much. Obviously, she was quite happy with her, her television. But uh, most things nowadays is done on an internet based, and she was one when I was talking to her one day, she was telling me that she needed to pay a rent by her because she couldn't get out to us, so she needed to pay online. Somebody spoke to her about doing it online. So I explained how to do it and I showed her how to do it and she was absolutely fascinated that she could actually uh, send money by the press of the key. It's sort of making people feel comfortable whether you're talking to them or whether you're emailing them. It's about making people feel comfortable enough so they don't feel silly because people often feel silly when they talk about them. So you're going to say, well, of course you should know that. Dots have a sort of an online discussion group um, which you can ask questions on and you usually get responses really quickly. I found websites I've never heard of before which have uh, shown me different things, uh, different tools for what I can use on the internet. There's lots of things that I know but there's lots of things I don't know as well and if there was anything that I was unsure about, just sort of ask the question and other dots would sort of answer and, and give all sorts of information out and that's really, really nice. Overall, being a dog is something that I would recommend to others because we've all got skills out there that we don't always use. Actually, you can get a qualification just for telling somebody, you know, something what you do on a day-to-day -day basis and just helping other people. It, it is actually just quite nice to feel useful. Um, I think it's really important for ordinary people to sort of get talking about technology to themselves and to not be so about it giving people the skills to become independent using a computer. You don't always have to, you know, knock on someone's door. It's, it's when you want to do something on a computer, you can do it in your time rather than someone else's time. So you're independent at using a computer. That, to me, is passing that on um, and letting people help themselves. Uh, being the sort of people under the ultra man or the ultra women, the ultra four would probably better way. We know a lot of things about a lot of things, but we don't know all without to, to pass that information on. My job is working with people that are unemployed and get, giving them the skills to go out into the workplace. And a lot of people say, oh, I don't need to know about computers. But you do, because most, that most jobs will have an element of PC work in it, if not internet work as well. If a company knows that South Yorkshire has a large number of people who can feel fairly confident with that team, then I guess they're much more likely to set up their businesses here, knowing that they can find a fairly well-skilled workforce. Yeah. Um, I think it's really important to get people to understand that they're not alone.
Yeah, I know. Overall, being a dog. My mind just completely went blank. Oh my okay. It wasn't that difficult, was it? I just want to. <laughs> you can just do one more thing.